Hello, traveling machinist here. We are in Cedar Keys, Florida. I'm on a little dock out here. I'm gonna take you a walk through. I drove the bike over this morning from Ocala and uh, what a beautiful day for a ride. It's like 85 degrees here. It's actually kind of warm compared to what I've been used to in the last six, now six months, maybe five months. So I'm gonna flip us around eight. Hey, Steve and Tammy, thank you very much for letting me use the bike and I'll, I'm very humbled by all that. I really do appreciate that. It's good to have people that trust a man. So definitely appreciate that. And I'll be saying that through the whole trip here. So thank you very much. So let's flip you around and show you Cedar Keys, Florida. All right. So here we got the Gulf of Mexico. And that island right over there is called Indian Island. Supposedly that is a burial ground for Indians. I don't know much about it. I just asked some locals what that was that island was. Only access is through a boat. I see there's a beach out there. I don't know if you can see that, but like right about there, there's a, a beach. And then we got some little restaurants and and uh, I think there's a little cottage where you can actually stay at the moment. So I'm not sure. It's just kind of my estimation. So what we'll do is we'll keep, we'll go for a walk here. run by a V8 motor and pushes you around. This is on the west side of the of, uh, Florida. When we go to Daytona, that's more on the east, be on the ocean side. type of restaurants and I'm gonna cross the street here I think it'll give you a better shot of the little little shops some are like uh, knick-knack gift shops stuff like that got some fishing boats over there So yeah, it's just a small little area, actually. Not real big, not real populated, not huge amounts of crowds. I'm gonna walk in the street. How we doing? Good, how are you? Good.
friendly people. I don't know if they're from here, could be tourists. We have 83 West. Looks like a, maybe like a restaurant. And each of these have like a balcony out to the Gulf. We got the Harbor Master here. I think those upstairs, the windows up there, I think those are cottages that you can rent out. So if you're staying in Cedar Keys, check out Harbor Master. It's got a gift shop. I think there's a restaurant in there too. I'm not 100% sure on that. And we got Steamers Clam Bar and Grill. Starting to hear a few more bikes too, which will be nothing compared to Daytona. I don't even know if I'll be able to talk over the motorcycles in Daytona. I haven't figured out how to how to uh, do the sound yet. There's a couple of little bikes I find interesting. golf cart all right back to the tour by the road here for this guy. And they got a fishing pier also. Which we'll take a quick walk out there. Look at these little golf carts. pretty much catch whatever's in the ocean out here. Not a huge fisherman myself. You know, walleye, crappie, and perch. Bullheads, carp. Those are our main fish we get in Minnesota. 
you know, maybe northern Minnesota we get some other stuff, but again, I'm not a fisherman. side of the shops and the restaurants so most of them we can sit outside Yeah, exactly. No, uh, there's just too many crazy people out there. I won't ride one. Ah. Uh, they've ruined it for me the way these people drive.